All right, boys and girls, we are going to start our drawing of the polar bear's face. I'd like to do some snowflakes in the background, but we will start with our first step. We're doing a close-up of a bear. So we just need a semicircle or a half of a circle or oval. And we're going to start at the bottom of the paper or a little bit at the side, and we're going to move upward. Up, 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 and then back down. So it kind of looks like a hill. That's pretty simple. And we're going to need two C shapes or half circles for the ears. This is the top of the head. And now we're making one ear over here up and down. The ears are not too big. Up and down. We've got one ear, the second ear. And now all we need to do is fill in the face. We might use a little chalk, we may use paint, we might use pastels. This is the difference between crayon, which is a little softer, and pastel which is a little richer and a little bit more deep of a color. So our next step is just adding the white all the way to the edge. You need to add color all the way to the edge because this is the full face of this bear. We can switch back and forth and use a little bit of a lighter white. It's a little see-through or transparent, they call it, or a darker white that is opaque that you cannot see through. And we go to the edge. So you have to hold your paper and make sure you're adding color all the way to the edge and moving back and forth. It's it's some work, but nothing you can't handle. Now, it, behind the bear, we'll be adding some snow. What I'd like to do is use a circular, um, circular shape, like a sponge that has circles, and add our snow that way. We might be able to draw the snow, glue it. We shall see how we'll finish this, but today, we're going to be working on finishing the fur of the bear. And you see the difference between the white crayon and the oil pastel. Right here is the oil pastel, right here is white crayon. And I kind of like them together. This is called mixed media when you're using different types of materials to create your artwork. Right. When we finish with the bear, we'll go on to the next step. He doesn't have a face yet, but we're using we're using black paper and black pastel. If you go out of your line a little bit, you can always fix it up. All right, first step done. Of course, this polar bear has white fur, whitish gray fur, and the sky is a night sky. A beautiful winter night sky. There we go. First steps. Finished. All right, our next step is to create a nose. And the shape of the polar bear's nose is kind of a soft triangle. We're gonna make it kind of large. Now, you can use a white crayon or a black pastel. I'm gonna use this black pastel. I'm going to 
draw a triangular shape. See this big triangle? But I don't want it to be sharp, so I'm going to soften the edges. Soften the edge. Soften the edge. Then I'll cut it out and I'll turn it over. Now we're cutting and gluing, or what they say, cut and paste, to create this piece of art because this is a mixed media piece of artwork. Now I don't want to show this part with all the sketches and drawing on the back. That looks kind of goofy. So you always want to flip it over and hide the side you drew on. So I'm going to put the glue not on the bear, but on the bear's nose. Here we go. On the back side that I don't want people to see, I am hiding the drawing. And I'm going to flip it over. And I want to save room for the mouth and the eyes. And there we go. Now, a bear has kind of a split mouth. And you'll see two sides of it. It's almost like a cheek. So you bring a line down and a scoop over and a scoop over. There you go, little bear. All right, and I'm just going to make two eyes. I could make them wide out here or in the center. You decide. I'm just going to make two circular eyes. And I'm going to draw a little bit of a line in his ear. Looking good. All right, I think we're ready for painting the snow. If you'd like to make his nose a little darker, you could, like I could make this black just so it shows up a little bit better, but I have to try to stay right on his nose, which you have to be careful. It really shows up then. Not totally necessary, but it's your decision. All right, here's our polar bear. He's just missing his snow. And that'll be our next step.